Well, good day, viewers. Today we have an 18 Honda CRV. It was in here a month and a half ago. We did timing chain guides, phasers, and stuff on it. But it's back again with some warning lights on and messages. Let's see, we got the brake warning light on. This one over here looks like a brake light. Uh, collision mitigation system problem. Road departure mitigation system problem. What other adaptive cruise control problem? Now this vehicle was in an accident last summer, and we got some kind of warning light over here. So we're going to do a network scan on it and see what it has to offer. At least we don't have a check engine light on. So I'm loading the vehicle record on this thing. I've worked on it before. As I said, about a month and a half ago, I did a timing chain on it. It's got 177,000 kilometers. So let's do a network code scan and see what it has to offer. I've got a clean battery charger connected to it and a key on. Engine not running, because I believe that's what you have to do with these things. They're not screaming fast. I'll pick up when it gets to the end of this network scan. So we're done the network scan and everything's pretty good except for in the integrated driver support system we have a permanent code P2583-76 temporary stop of integrated driver support system misalignment millimeter wave radar and that looks to be the only code Wow. In uh, 22 computers, I think it's scanned. 23, well, including the OBD2 side of the PCM. So I'm going to note this code here P22, P2583. Dash 76. And see if there's any diagnostic support for this code. So I found this bulletin dated August 19th about the milli millimeter wave radar unit won't align with P2583-76 won't clear. And they mentioned the possibility that the mounting clips could be broken. And I'm looking at it. I'll show you where it is on the, uh, on the front of the car here. So the radar sensor is right behind this plastic trim here. It just pops out if you reach in behind and push these tabs and just reach through here and push and these are it's not loose in here now I question whether it was aligned after uh, the body repairs I don't know the extent of the body damage that was done to the vehicle when it hit a deer but this is the radar sensor and we're going to clear the code and see if it comes back but I think it's going to have to go to the dealer or somebody with ATIS uh, aligning tools because I don't have that stuff. So I'm going to clear the codes in that system. And again, key on engine off. Let's have a look at data. Radar temperature, 38 degrees Celsius. So it must have some kind of heater in it. Camera temperature, 46 degrees Celsius. I think the camera's in the top of the windshield. Hmm. Let's go back now and see if, if that code has returned. I don't see anything physically. Temporary stop of integrated driver support. Misalignment millimeter wave radar. Well, it's not broken. I don't see any physical damage to it. So it's either a defective sensor or it's got to be calibrated. So I've cleared the code and it comes right back again. So I'm going to advise the customer. He's going to have to unfortunately take it to the dealer. So I thought I'd look at my service record from uh, 
December the 5th when I scanned this initially and did a network scan because it had the engine light on and anti-lock brake light on and let power steering light on and there were codes in the uh, stability or ADA system as well but we had a cam sensor code crank sensor incorrect phase anti-lock brakes was complaining about the ECM electric power steering was complaining about the vehicle stability assist system and then the integrated driver support system which has the code P2583-76 there was a P2583-97 for dust or dirt on the millimeter wave radar but I have no idea how long that was there and I cleared it and as far as I know it was good for a few days or weeks I didn't hear from her until about 10 days ago so all these codes were related to the OBD2 P0341 code camshaft timing phase so again we're gonna ship it unfortunately I can't uh, align the sensor because I don't have the ADAS targets the scan tool I have will do it but I don't have the targets and uh, the necessary equipment.